In this video, we present a software suite developed for characterizing cancer subtypes. We present two tools, the Data View Integrator, which is used to set up the analysis, and Stratamax for the actual analysis. Cancer subtypes are analyzed using multiple heterogeneous data sources. Here we load seven datasets from the Cancer Genome Atlas project, which are shown as nodes of a graph along the bottom. We also opened the Stratomax view, which is shown as a node at the top of the data view integrator. Having view nodes in the graph lets us assign data to them. By default, we show a layout suitable for the bipartite nature of the graph. To have a closer look at the relations between the datasets, a force-directed layout is preferable. Molecular data, for example mRNA data, is stratified into groups of patients, which ideally represent cancer subtypes. It is common to have multiple stratifications for patients, and to explore the relations between them. We show those stratifications in a matrix arrangement, where the rows represent patient stratifications and the columns represent different clusterings of the genes. To assign data to a view, we first select one of the patient stratifications by clicking on one of the matrix cells. Here we have selected a classification of known subtypes of glioblastoma, the cancer we are looking at. Let's switch to the Stratomax view to look at the data we just added. In Stratomax, datasets are shown as columns. At the top of the column, there is a header which shows the name of the dataset and the view that summarizes the data. Below it are blocks which represent the subgroups defined by the stratification. In the blocks, we see visualizations of the data, in this case heat maps. The heat map blocks are scaled to represent the number of patients they encode. Stratamax can show diverse visual encodings in the blocks, for example parallel coordinates or histograms. The small visualizations in the blocks give you a nice idea of what the data looks like, but to drill down into the data, a detailed view can be shown. The real strength of Stratamax, however, is how it helps comparing stratifications of different datasets. So let's add another column. In this view, we can search for genes. We know that EGFR is a key player in glioblastoma. Once we've found EGFR, we can create a stratification based on its copy number status. Using the data view integrator, we can assign the stratification to Stratomax, where we can look at how it is associated with the known subtypes of glioblastoma. The ribbons show how the patients of one block are distributed in the blocks of another column. Narrow ribbons indicate that there are barely any patients in both the blocks they connect, whereas wide ribbons tell us that many patients are in both blocks. When we select a classic subtype, we can see that in nearly all of the patients with this type of glioblastoma, EGFR is amplified. This is one of the most common genomic mutations that has been observed in GBM. Now we want to know whether there is a difference in the actual prognosis for a patient with amplification in EGFR. To do this, we add a clinical dataset, days to death as a dependent column to Stratomax. Dependent columns are different from other columns in that they don't provide their own stratification, but use the stratification from a source column to divide the data they encode. Survival plots are a suitable visualization to show the days to death variable. As time progresses, patients die, resulting in the curve going down. For groups with a good prognosis, the plot dips gently, while for groups with a poor prognosis, the curve is steeper.
If we look at the plots for the patients with an amplification of EGFR, we notice that their prognosis is much worse than for those who have a normal copy number of EGFR and a better chance for survival. Now let's have a look whether we can find differential behavior of genes from the glioma pathway. We load the pathway as a dependent column of a stratification on an mRNA gene expression dataset. The small multiples of the glioma pathway map the average of their associated blocks expression in the nodes. As you can see, there are several differences between the subtypes. Let's have a closer look at the pathway for the first subtype. We can see that for this subtype, the genes at the cell membrane are upregulated. One of them is actually EGFR, which is highly amplified in the classic subtype, while for others, they are downregulated. Stratamax can also help you to evaluate the quality of automatic stratification. Let's load a stratification derived from a clustering of mRNA. Here we can see that the algorithm seems to have problems distinguishing the proneural from the neural subtype. We can manually split the clusters to show the differences observed in other stratifications. This is Stratamax, a novel visualization tool for comparative subset visualization in heterogeneous data. Stratamax was developed to support cancer subtype identification and characterization in large-scale genomics data. Thank you for watching our video.